to kick everything off with a sweet little nostalgic nugget about Leonardo DiCaprio. Pop Sugar reports that Leo's former interior designer, Megan Weaver, just revealed that his old Malibu beach house was Titanic themed. Mm -hmm. It was decked out in Titanic towels, a Titanic poster. She would wear the Titanic robe around and the designer was like, wait a minute, all these Titanic touches? She doesn't think they were put there by Leo, but his proud mama, Ermeline. How cute is that? Okay, see, I think it's so cute. And if I was in like one of the most, the highest grossing films of all time, I would have it too. I was in The Hobbit in seventh grade. You guys probably heard about it. I was a revelation. And I- Which character did you play? The Hobbit. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> and if I could get like Ross Matthews as the Hobbit bath mat when I was in seventh grade, yeah. uh, I woulda. Yeah. 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 Would you, do you have anything in your house? Like from nothing. Your house? Anyway, I will what? say nothing. Why not? No, it's all in boxes in storage. I don't need me. Oh girl, I would have me everywhere. I will say though that I've actually been to Leonardo DiCaprio's like real home. <gasps> Oh. And he is so not self-indulgent. There is no me, me, me. His taste is impeccable. His art collection's to die for. And um, I think this was like the cutest thing ever, but he doesn't live like that, I, I, to my knowledge. All right, next up, time is Black History Month. Google, this is so cool. They're rolling out a brand new feature that makes it even easier to support black businesses. House Beautiful reports that the new feature is already up and running right now. You just go to the Google Shopping tab uh, you, and you search to whatever product you want and in the results, you'll be able to see which stores are black owned businesses. You're looking right there. And they already have this feature in Google Maps too. So all your search searches of uh, local shops and restaurants tells you that feature as well. Like I'm of the generation where like, if they ask me for my password, I just start crying. <laughs> but my daughter can like hack, you <laughs> yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. So I just, I love this. It's respectful. It is user friendly. It's all the things and I can't thank Google more. I really can't, this is perfection. Well, because it's what we want to be doing, yep. you know? Uh, and, but sometimes it can be confusing. Like, how do you get from your intention to your to execution? This makes it so simple. I love that, Ross, so much. Mm -hmm. Google, cool. intention to execution. Thank you, and thank you, Ross. You're That's, welcome. You just kind of surmised everything I think and feel. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, okay, I have been very open about my love of old-fashioned snail mail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm real hot to trot for this suggestion from Vogue. They say that this Valentine's Day, you should make your own Valentine's cards, like DIY it. Yes. They just make such a difference, you know? They do. I, I, I was thinking, like, when's the last time I wrote, like, a love letter or something? And I, it's like, never. I've never done it. So I'm going to do it this year. Let's do it, Valentine's Rossi. And, yeah, so he, and he's watching. Act surprised, babe, when you get it, okay? okay. <laughs> I'm making it for you. Uh, but I, I started by making you a Valentine's Day card. Rossi! I did. It's, I'd like to, uh, this is what I made. Oh my God, it's so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hand it to you. Okay, and okay. you can put it down. I'll put it and down, get busted. there you go, right. okay. Um. <laughs> I know, it looks like a toddler did it, but I actually did do that. This is exactly what I was picturing when I was saying like those <laughs> handmade cards. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I can't even handle it. Okay. Okay, make oh, me something. I'm going to, because look, I pulled this from home. I just had some like, watercolor tubes that's like the highly pigmented and you add a little water to it. So you just do some colors and I got some white paper. I got my favorite pair of scissors and my jar of paintbrushes. And then this is this little caddy I had made for Olive so when cute. she was little, one for her and Frankie. Um, so I'm gonna DIY you a love Valentine's. You know what, the things that are handmade and special, like they're the ones that I've saved for my entire life. I still have them.